that's the story of how I beat Ash Ketchum in my very first Pokemon tournament. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, surprising that you... To be fair, he was really off his game. Okay. Like, uh, too many long nights and, you so know... Bottoms of the beer barrels and such, yes? Yeah, I don't know if it was that or if it was the wheezing that was nearby that was keeping him kind of coughing and gotcha. a little bit out of sorts. Hi folks, we're about to pop off his lunch, Jeff. Hi. And we are here. Um, hey, we're here. We still, we're still here. We still exist. Sort of. Kind of. Um, if you'll notice behind us, our usual uh, backdrop is not here. Uh, not that that's anything to be worried about. That was just a great thing. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're actually at New Digs. Um, as most of you who have followed the channel know, we did move. Um, last time, I think we were in front of some blinds, which yeah. are just, just off camera over here. Uh, they were problematic um, for filming. This is, this is a little better. Lighting still pretty terrible. Uh, we don't have all our gear here, so we're just making do. Um, yeah. But the reason that we're here yes. is because uh, this thing happened uh, thing. over the weekend. A, a thing. A thing. A thing. Something important. With a capital A. A thing. Uh, that was called D23. I was now, D23. Say capital D. Yes, that too. Uh, D23, as most of you know, I'm sure, uh, is Disney's big event where they talk about new um, movies coming out, new television shows. They did a lot of Disney Plus streaming discussion. So, what we're going to do, we're going to react to a couple of trailers. Uh, once Heidi and Yanni. Sorry. We're gonna... <laughs> I've just come off a really long stretch of nights. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we're going to actually react to a couple of different trailers. Uh, I've seen one of them. I've not seen the other. Heidi is going to um, uh, be seeing both for the first time. And then we're going to talk about just kind of generally toward the end of the video some of the D23 news that came out. So stick around for that. The first thing that we're going to watch is the trailer for The Mandalorian. Now this is the one that I have seen. Um, but I'm happy to watch it again. Mm -hmm. You have not seen it yet. No, I haven't um, seen anything. I've, I've what been... do you know about the Mandalorian? Uh, that's Boba Fett. He, he is a Mandalorian. This is correct. And then I, uh, what's her butt from the cartoons? Sabine Wren. Yes, her yes. too. She too is Mandalorian. She too is Mandalorian. Um, so and we've met a lot of Mandalorians over the course of some of the Star Wars lore. Yes. However, uh, this movie is set after the events of Return of the Jedi, but okay. before... We get, so, tail end of Rebels, this is kind of set in there, okay. in that, that area. Okay. okay. Uh, it's very, it's bounty huntery. we knew that. Yeah. And uh, and then this is uh, by John Favreau. Okay. So, we, we like and appreciate John Favreau very much. Certainly. So, yeah, so definitely that puts a plus in the, or a check in the, uh, in the thumbs up column. column. Yeah. So, we're going to watch the trailer. Uh, we're going to let you know what we think about that. You can let us know what you think down in the comments below. Then we're going to get on to the Rise of the Skywalker trailer. Yes. All in the same video. You don't have to click away. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about some of the other D23 things. So here we go. Okay. All right, first reaction thoughts to Heidi. Um, okay, first of all, I didn't realize it was going to be a live action thing, so that kind of makes me a little more excited about it. Um, also, it was kind of giving me some Battles Battlestar Galactica vibes, so I'm wondering what kind of like political intrigue sort of stuff might be like involved in this. Um, but 
it looks great and you know I don't didn't recognize any of the characters that I don't know if anybody else may uh, recognize anybody there, but I well, certainly didn't. So. Yeah, well, we didn't get anything from the Mandalorian himself. Uh, right. That's believed to be Pedro Pascal, which we okay. know from Game of Thrones and some other things. Yes. Uh, including Buffy. Yes. And the freshman. He was the Ooh. the guy that she walked around who was lost, and then he got uh, he became a vampire. He, he sure a very did. early appearance by Pedro Pascal, so if you're not familiar with Buffy, go check out The Freshman, Season 4, Episode so 1. Um, Gina Carano, we know from uh, being an American Gladiator originally, and then, yes. and then now she's got uh, quite a few action movie uh, credits to her resume. Um, but th that's not not sure who she's playing here. Not Carla Cugino. Not Carla Cugino. Very that's, different people. I still have trouble. Uh, Carl Weathers, of course we know from the Rocky films and everything else. Now that robot that you saw was not IG-88, which is no. what I know what a lot of fans were hoping for. He's like IG-60 something or IG whatever. It's one of the IG series. They're all very dangerous. Yes. Uh, all killer droids. This particular one voiced by Taika Waititi. That is amazing. Yep. Sorry. Um, I think I still needed some sleep. Apparently. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Herner Wurzog was who we saw at the table there doing the voiceover thing. Mm -hmm. uh, filmmaker in his own right. So that was kind of cool. We saw Giancarlo Esposito, which we know from several things as well. Yeah. So great cast going into this Yeah, thing. that's that's a pretty, pretty star studded And knowing cast. that Jon Favreau is uh, running that show and running that ship, pretty cool. I did see a clip of um, um, Pablo Hidalgo from D23, mm -hmm. when they ask if it was possible, uh, since we have so many live action Disney things coming forward, if we would ever get to see a live action Ahsoka Tano or anything like that, and he just kind of giggled and said, well, you never know, which made me think he knows something that he's just not willing to say. That would be um, amazing. I'd be that would be that. pretty amazing, yeah. uh, whether in this show or in the Obi-Wan show. Any of the other ones. Show. That's the other news. So we, we've gotten this reaction. I'll, I'll just tell you my brief thoughts on this. Uh, I'm in just because of the people involved, and I'm in because it looks great. I mean, the the budget that is clearly present on screen in this trailer, yeah, the ships, the planets, the whole thing, like this is a quality production. Yeah, this looks pretty amazing. And, um, how many episodes are we looking mm, at here? I'm not sure. I'm okay. not sure they've said, but you know, okay. we know that George Lucas was thinking about a Star Wars television series years ago uh about the underworld and that kind of thing and they had scripts written for like several seasons i mean it was a big thing that he was trying to make happen but then he just realized that production was not wasn't there yet no. for it to be cost effective enough to do it and have it look the way it needed to look well, and be here. quality and and now this feels like they're taking some of those vibes maybe even using some of the scripts who knows and so giving us something, yeah. you know, that uh, is quality that they can kind of show us a side of the Star Wars universe that we haven't got to see much, at least not in this kind of format. You know, yeah. sometimes the animated stuff delves into that a little bit, but it's animated. Yeah, but so. this is something I think a lot of people can get behind. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about this, and you know, uh, as much as I enjoy the the main uh, movies of the Star Wars saga. Um, I'm really loving that the expanded universe is kind of getting it's it's coming into its own now that people are really embracing the other parts like it's not just about the Skywalkers although we're gonna see something about that in a minute right. um, it, that there's so much else going on and it's it is a real like a real universe where there's other just besides our main characters there's so many other planets so many other people so many other political intrigues so many other things happening that it makes it a real robust vibrant like universe right. so it's really now, great we don't have images from it yet because they haven't started filming it yet but there was the announcement that the long-awaited obi-wan uh, series is happening with Ewan McGregor. He's going to be back. Yeah. Uh, I believe they said that's going to be a six or eight uh, episode thing. I don't and care. And it if is it's going three. to it's it awesome. is going to fill in some of the gap between episode three and A New Hope. Fantastic. So we're going to get get that time period, which is awesome to yeah. see what uh, Obi Wan was up to. Yep. Uh, being an old wizard out in the desert uh, or wherever he may travel. So excited about that. Uh, we know from Rebels that Maul was around during that time, mm -hmm. uh, and we also know kind of how their final meeting went. If you didn't watch Rebels, shame on you. It's a great show. Yes. Um, but, uh, so we know how some of that went. It would be interesting if we got anything uh, with them there. I, I don't know if that's a possibility, but... I mean, Ray Park still does stuff, so... Sure. 
but uh, it, it would definitely, I, I'm definitely curious what they're going to do with Obi-Wan, what kind of stories they're going to tell, but just having Ewan McGregor back in that role is fantastic. Super the excited about that. Best role ever for him. Yeah. Yeah, well, he'd be not, great. But best, best picked young Obi-Wan ever. Like, I can't imagine anybody else fulfilling that particular role. So it's great that they got yeah, that. Yeah, because I feel like he honored the original. He wasn't just doing a, an impersonation or whatever, and yet he very much captured the spirit of it and... and yeah, so definitely excited to see him in that.